The menstrual cycle starts on day one. So the, the moment a woman starts menstruating, we call that day one of the cycle. And normal cycle is about 28 days. For day 14 is ovulation. Usually the last week before a woman menstruates, that's when she has more hunger, more cravings. That's when it's harder to do intermittent fasting. So I don't recommend intense intermittent fasting during that last week. Don't do the 20 to 24 hour fast in that last week. So during that last week, what you wanna do is maybe like a 12 to 14 hour overnight fast and then consume more calories in general, more protein. You can consume more healthy carbs, let's say root vegetables and fruits during that last week before you menstruate because that will help to reduce overall cortisol, re reduce stress hormones and allow your body to produce the progesterone it needs for a really good uh, menstrual cycle. So you have less PMS symptoms, less negative symptoms associated with uh, menstruation. And then right after you start menstruating, that's actually a really great time to go in and do a little bit more intense intermittent fasting. So whether it's a 16-8, whether you, you might wanna try that week, maybe compressing it to 18-6, right? And doing something like that. Um, or, you know, that maybe if you're gonna do like a three day or a five day fast, it's a great time. Is right after you start menstruating those first couple of days, really good time, really first 10 days or so of your cycle, great time to do a little bit more intense fasting. So you have to break it up based on um, where you're at in your menstrual cycle, usually around ovulation as well, like day 12 to 14 or so. You don't wanna do intense intermittent fasting either. So you have to kind of figure out where are you at in your menstrual cycle and figure out your fasting routine from there.